Oh, this is a Draugr village. Yeah, look at him in there. Okay, I don't think we want to mess with them right now. Yikes. back everybody to Valheim. I am the Bearded OG and in this episode uh, we are going to build a road. I've already started that process uh, over to the Black Forest because I've been hauling uh, lots and lots of copper and stone back from there and it's uh, it's just taken forever. So I figured well you know what we can make the cart now and uh, we're going to need one eventually anyway so we might as well uh, get going on that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I kind of started the road. I'm not trying to make it too terribly fancy. I just want it to be functional. And I'm um, coming back with a big load of wood, of which we're going to place in the charcoal kiln. Um, I showed you guys in the opening montage there that I killed another troll, and then I actually killed another one after that. Um, and oh, uh, so I got 10 hide, and I was able to make uh, the cape that I have here too. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, place that stuff in there. We'll put you in here and you in here. And you go in there and you go in here. All right, now, um, as far as our equipment goes, we still need the um, bronze chest piece, uh, chest piece rather. Uh, so we're going to need five bronze for that. So let's get that made. All right. And then we'll, we'll make the bronze kiros or however you... I never never really knew exactly how to pronounce that. Kiros, kiros, kiros. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and equip that. And um, next we're going to want to make also the bronze helmet. Um, that's going to require another five bronze. So let's do that. Been doing just a hell of a lot of grinding. Okay, we got the bronze helmet. We'll put that on. And now we are fully decked out in bronze gear. Very cool. Let's put the... Uh, where, am I, where am I keeping my old armor? It was in one of these chests. I think... 
thought. That one's empty. That one's empty. And that one's empty. How about if we keep them in here? That's weird, though, because I thought I had a couple of other pieces in one of these chests. But I'm not seeing it. That's our treasures. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. Uh, we'll just keep it in, in this one, then. Okay, let's um, get in here to do a repair. So, okay, as far as equipment goes, I think the only other thing... Let's look at this again. The only other thing I think I want to make is the bronze sword. So we can start leveling that up. I have been working on um, leveling the of the mace up. So we've been working on that. And also, let's look at something else here, too. Um, we still need to... Okay, yeah, uh, we can actually make the cart now, which we're going to do. Uh, but let's go to crafting. We still need to make the forge cooler, and that requires just copper. But that's going to be... Uh, this fermenter's bronze. I still haven't found bees yet until we find bees. There's not a whole lot of point in making the fermenter because we need honey with it. I made the ads, as I showed you in the opening montage. Uh, we've already made the anvil, which is right here. Um, so, yeah, I think this forge cooler is the last thing we need to make, and we need fine wood for that. I also need a little more fine wood to finish my last... A bow upgrade, so I've upgraded my fine wood bow to level three, so we just need some more fine wood for that. So I think let's let's go ahead and just go grab a whole bunch of fine wood so we can get those last two things taken care of. And then, you know, then of course we're still gonna need stuff for There's a log sitting in those two trees. Look at that. How funny. <laughs> I wonder how long that's been there. I don't know. I like it. We're going to keep it there. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we're still going to need some resources to uh, upgrade everything as well. But at least, um, you know, we'll have everything made. So I'm trying not to cut all of the trees down right around the base just so, you know, things still look cool. Uh, one thing I guess we could do, too, is maybe maybe we should go on a bit of a... That's all... I think that's mostly all normal wood. Um, maybe we should go on a little bit of a walkabout um, into some more uh, meadows territory to see if we can find a beehive. And we'll cut some alder tree uh no i'm sorry birch trees while we're doing that but i want to do that away from the base because again i don't want to cut down my entire forest now i know i can replant the trees too but um i'd rather just not cut them all down in the first place if we can avoid it so let's take a look at our map here um i haven't really been over into this area of the meadows and i think this is all meadows here too i do vaguely recall passing a house or two really early on like the very first episode they had some beehives but at that point I didn't really have um, anything any way to do anything with it so we could maybe kind of retrace our steps back to spawn and then start uncovering some of this fog of war while we look for that stuff so I think that's what we'll do um, and if we run across an oak tree uh, there's an oak tree right there okay well, let's get uh, let's get some fine wood from this guy then. All right, that gave us twenty-seven pieces of fine wood. Let's uh, but let's just keep going here. What I actually might do though is cut a couple of birch trees down up in here. And then um, just go back, and then we can get those two things done before we set out again. I feel like I'm a little bit wishy washy today in terms of what we're doing. <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll just have fun with it, not worry too much about it. But uh, kind of our main goal is to, to get that road built. 
just so I can, you know, more easily haul the massive, massive amounts of copper that are still in the Black Forest. Okay, so we have a full stack of fine wood now and then and then some. So let's go ahead and head back to the base and get those other two things made. And then we'll go hunting for a beehive. Except for, let's check this building right here. Nah, I don't think it's ha has one because we hear the bees buzzing. All right, um, so let's make the forge cooler. And we'll just stick that there for now. And that gives us a level three forge. And I don't think anything else has popped for us to upgrade it any further. And we we might not get any more op options for that until we get into iron, I'm not sure. Fantastic, all right, so we have a level four fine wood bow, that doesn't suck. Uh, let's upgrade to a hoe too, by the way. So max quality, uh, that's as high as it goes. Might as well upgrade our hammer too. Okay, it's max quality. And we can't upgrade our cape until we get to kill some more trolls. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good overall. Put all that wood in there. And the hide can go in there. Goes there, seeds go in here. I'm gonna need to. Uh, I showed you guys in the montage that we can now make deer stew, but the thing is that. Oh, we can make some Queen's Jam. That gives us 40 stamina and 14 health. Carrot soup would give us 45 stamina and 15 health. And, but we need carrots for all of that. And the thing about the carrots, I'm still trying to kind of figure this out. I planted... I planted some carrots here, and now they're gone. What the hell? See, the thing, the thing that doesn't appear to happen with carrots is... All the rest of this stuff stays here and it'll regrow later, but with the carrots, when I picked them, they disappear. And so I I planted another couple of piles of carrots and they're completely gone. I wonder if I screwed them up with the hoe. Oh man, that really sucks. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to be on the lookout for more carrot seeds. Let's grab all of this stuff here and make sure each of our smelters are topped off with coal because we have a lot more copper I mean like lots of copper uh, you know just in what I've mined but also there's more deposits there to take as well so I'm just putting the extra coal in there for now all right so why don't we, while we're still here in the house, let's make some more bronze and make our sword. So we can start uh, working on leveling that up. And we're also going to need bronze nails, you know, for the carve. Uh, but let's do the sword. Excellent. Okay, so if we look here now... Um, miscellaneous crafting. We have everything here except for the fermenter, which we don't need until we get the, um, an item stand. Okay, that's cool. Um, where's the... Is that what we need to mount the heads, or is there like a, a plaque for that? I don't, I don't know. I don't see that as an option. So I think now we're basically just looking at, you know, upgrades, uh, which we're still going to need lots more bronze for. Most of the stuff is bronze. Some of it's bronze and wood. All right, so I'm going to put this in here for now. 
And we're starting to get low on tin, so that's going to be a thing too. Okay, let's go ahead and make our cart. So we have it. And the only thing we're still waiting to upgrade here is the troll hide cape. Otherwise, we have all the upgrades done for the for the workbench. But everything here needs to be upgraded. But what I'm thinking I'm want to do is put upgrade our pick. But I think what I want to do is I want to make some nails. Whoops. because we need 80 of these to make the ship. We also have 10 there as well. Okay, that's enough to make the carve. I wonder though, we might need to you know, make a little dock or something for for that before we totally commit to, to making it. Sometimes fish will show up on the shore after a storm. Here, let's kill this guy. It is also on the to-do list to tame some boar at some point. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, confused, I guess, about what happened to my carrots, or, or more specifically, I, I think I might have screwed the carrots up with a hoe when I started the road. That might explain why the last ones I planted are gone, but... It doesn't explain why the carrots disappear after I pick them instead of sticking around like everything else does. So we'll have to experiment with that some more to see if we can figure out what the deal is. All right. So let's put these nails in here. And I need to, I need to cook up some more deer meat and unfortunately I can't do that in here. Uh, I don't want to make the jam because I'm trying to save up uh, 20 blueberries so I can plant blueberries in the garden too. So we're not going to actually make the jam yet. Uh, this goes in here. So let's just cook up um, some deer meat. Uh, I don't want to cook all of it though because we need it raw to make the stuff. If, if I put that on my toolbar, can I explicitly say do the deer meat if I do eight? Uh, yes, it looks like I can. Okay. Because otherwise it'll pull from the chest and it tends to cook the cheap stuff first, like the neck tails. So it looks like if you want to cook something specific, you have to put it on your toolbar. So that's good to know. In fact, I think that's all. Well, here. I don't want to burn them. Alright, so that gets us seven pieces. We got raspberries. I did plant one. Uh, no, I think I have two things. Yeah, I have two things of red mushrooms down there. So, let's just take these with us too. I'm kind of back to the to the really basic food except for the deer meat at the moment. But that'll change once we can get everything going. These, uh, this by the way is where I'm at currently with club. So I've got that up to 22 just by using my mace as much as I have been. Um, so I think what we'll do now is we'll switch to using swords for a bit and start getting that leveled up. 
and we'll keep the mace though in the number four slot. Let's get everything repaired. And uh, we got full rested bus buff, rather. Okay, so let's just kind of head south and come here, you little bastard. Hey, we got sword skill number one. Look at us and our bad self. Stamina. And uh, again, we're looking for a beehive, and that's mostly it. Yeah, beehives. We'll pick any more red mushrooms that we come across. Probably not raspberries. We got plenty of raspberries. And this is actually south here, so I'm I'm planning on just kind of following my path down to spawn, and if I don't find any beehives then there then you know I'm going to kind of cut over into this area all right no beehives in this little shack I think I've maybe checked these places already but we'll check them again just in case because I'm not a hundred percent sure all right nothing in here Nothing in there. Okay. You know what the hell? I'll, I'll pick raspberries too. I'm not going to go out of my way to do it, but... Might as well. Somebody... Somebody leveled this out. Maybe they're going to build a base here or something. Oh, we got a portal over here. Wonder where that goes. Uh, looks like the guys killed Bone Mass. Okay, that's cool. Get out of here, Hugan. Portal Tag Shrine. Hmm. Alright, I don't want to get sidetracked with that right now. Okay, let's kind of start heading uh, to the, yeah, into this area and see if we can find a new meadow that may have a beehive. This has a chest, but I'd be very surprised if nobody has checked it. Yeah, it's been checked. <laughs> Pretty much figured that would be the case. Got a road here. Well, any place that's near a road is not likely to have a beehive that hasn't been looted. So let's actually cut to the west a bit. Alright, we have a new meadow here and water this way. That's kind of a neat view. Goes down into a nice little bay there. It's an open area, but it's also uh, not very level. There's this place, and then there's a shack over there. Yeah, there's nothing there. giblets. Now I'm, now I'm kind of kicking myself that we didn't, that I didn't grab those beehives when I first saw them. But like I said, it was like right when we first started and it's like, well, what am I going to do with them, you know? 
But we could have stored it, stored the queen bee until we were ready for it. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, let's take a look at our map. So, I think what I'll do here is... I think I'll work my way up around through here. Um... Either that... Well, see, the thing is, is the closer I get to where these guys are, the less of a chance we're going to find a beehive. We really need to kind of go a long ways out to look for that stuff. So, it's you know, at this point, it's kind of a crapshoot, I guess. Um, so let's, let's actually go back kind of to the north. Um along this way and just see what happens and of course we're gonna get caught out after dark but we're we're pretty well equipped by now so I'm not too worried about that there's somebody's base there Alright, I remember Joe telling me about this place. I don't know why I marked it as a mine, so this is probably one of his outposts. Does it tell us uh, whose bed this is? It doesn't. We can use his stuff to repair. I'm sure he won't mind. That's weird. Uh, oh. Hold on a sec. It did show something for a second. Yeah, that's Joe's bed. Okay. Well, if we keep going this way, we're going to get into Black Forest. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can handle that now with my gear, but it kind of gets us off track from what we're looking for, which is a damn beehive. That's the only thing about it, you know. Let's see here. It looks like, un unless, it, well, assuming this is a, a coastline, it might just go up to here or it might keep going way the hell over this way, actually. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, because it's dark as hell, I'm going to um, try, you know, follow this coastline. But if we, if I run into a major conflict, I'll, I'll capture that on camera and just try and use some gamma to brighten it up later. So otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, I wonder if there's another tomb around here. Skeletons just generally come out at night, though, anyway. Oh, there's a tomb over there. Okay. We do need some more circling cores for teleporters. Let's just pop down in here for a minute and see if there's, if it's been looted already. And plus I could use, yeah, it's been looted already, but I could use the yellow mushrooms though. And we can use the XP from killing the new enemies. So let's at least do that. All right. I didn't run into any more bad bads in here, um, but we came out with 
Uh, 12 yellow mushrooms. That's pretty good. And it's morning. The nights don't last too long because of our mod. We have a daylight mod. I think days last an hour and nights like 13 minutes or something like that. Got a skeleton fighting a shaman. Ooh, a one star shaman. Okay, let's get a little more distance here. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? How did that miss? Got him. I'm looking for uh, any tin that I might come across too, but I haven't seen it. It's probably all been mined out. Let's go back to normal arrows. Hey, wood. Deer. You shouldn't run past me. Oh. Isn't there... Yeah, I was going to say, there's treasures near these ships. The guys missed this. Alright, cool. We got ourselves some treasure. That doesn't suck. There's some tin. Alright. Oh, we're full. All right, let's see. Let me get rid of the wood and the stone and the neck tail and the boar head. I think I want to hang on to the rest of that stuff. See, I, I would be inclined to cross back over and open up this part of the meadows, but... Because there's so much activity down there, it's the chances of a beehive being available are pretty slim. So I think we'll just keep, you know, uh, away from the busy area and see if we can luck out and find something. We need some of this and some of this and some more of that. I'm not going to eat the blueberries because I want to save those for the garden. What in the hell? Invisible deer? Bugged deer. That's a bug deer. It's not a mule deer or a white tailed deer. It's a bugged deer. Now you guys can tell your grandchildren that you've uh, seen bugged deer. Oh, we got a troll. Okay, we need to kill him. Uh, is he a log troll or a stone troll? Looks like he's just a stone troll. Much easier to kill. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to maneuver around here. And I only have 32 fire arrows. Alright, let's see if we can do this without getting ourselves killed. I don't like this terrain, man. Let's at least get up over in here so we're not sliding. Let him get close because we need to get our stamina back anyway. Damn it. 
And he's down. Alright, we got the hide. He didn't drop a head, but I already have, I think, two troll heads back at the base anyway, so I don't care about that so much. Let's grab these blueberries. So that'll allow us to do uh, an upgrade to our cape. A fully upgraded troll cape is a pretty nice piece of equipment because it's got decent armor, but it also gives you the sneak buff too. Yeah, we got a big mountain there. So it's not likely anybody's been in this area then, if that tin is there. It's taking a long time to break it because it was hitting the tree at the same time and when they, when you hit two things at the same time in this game it cuts your damage in half. 296. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's all we're going to be able to carry for 10. Uh, here is a tomb. Let's go see if this tomb, there's some copper there too. Oh uh, no, this is a troll cave. home. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, let's get this out. Some pearls. Yep, sometimes you luck out and walk into these places and there is, the troll's not here. Cool. So we got some yellow mushrooms and some pearls. That doesn't suck. All right. Well, it's good to know that there is quite a bit more tin out here. Oh, wow. Getting close to the elder. Um, Probably, too. My guess is this is going to wrap around and get, uh, get us to the trader, too. Um... We could, well, I don't have any cores on me. It's going to say maybe we could build a portal, but not without cores. All right, we got another troll. And it looks like he is also a rock troll. We have 19 fire arrows left. Let's get up here. So I don't want to fight him on a... Oh, for frick's sake. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Okay, stop. Let your stamina get back. And don't do that because it's giving me a headache. go. It went barreling off down this way. There's a spawner up there. Oh. Okay, there he is. He circled, circled back around. Let's see if we can pop him right to the trees. He's angry. Ow. That hurt. 
Ouch. Ouch again. No stamina. I think he's gonna kill us. Oh shit. <laughs> Get away. We almost got him, but there we go. Whew. I'm uh I, I thought we were gone there for a second. It's always all about the stamina. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get rid of some stuff. We don't need the stone for sure. We've got us some of it. Uh, we don't need the wood. And yeah, that's good. I don't care about the head. We don't need it. Oh, look at you. Carrying too much, son of a bitch. Um, let's drop off the gray dwarf eyes. I don't care about those. We can drop off the resin. And uh, that's enough. Okay. All right, where are we at? We are, well, we're at basically at the elder. He's just right over here. Let's go take a look at him. I'm not fighting him right now, but he is on the to-do list. Yep, here's his place. This would be kind of a sucky place to fight him because the ground drops off so steeply right there. Um, we have another elder too that's to the east of our base. Maybe we'll uh, take a look at that one and see if it's a little bit better than this, you know, better layout. Because that fight requires a lot of movement. All right, we have a troll cave, I think. Lots of bones, that's good. Get rid of the stone. All right, come on up here. All right, let's just pop our head in here. Nobody's home. Might be the one we just killed. I don't know. Grab all these yellow mushrooms, though. And we've got some amber. And a jewel. I think that's everything. Sweet. Okay, I'm just going to keep working my way along the coast just because I want to map out the, you know, the coastline of our island here, even though I don't really have room for anything more. So I wonder if this is going to swing around and go over to that area or if that's an actual island somewhere else. Looks like it might be an an actual island. Hard to say though.
What's this? Oh, it's another ship. Getting the treasure on this one might be difficult because this water gets deep fast. Well, I don't have room for whatever's in there anyway. So I'm going to just leave that one alone. You know what I think I will do, though? Is let's at least mark it. But, like I said, this is a... I'm actually glad we came this way because there is a lot of tin to be had along the coast here. And I've pretty much exhausted the tin, you know, near my base. There's a lot of copper near the base, though, so I'm, that's why I'm not even bothering to mark this copper. We have enough uh, yellow mushrooms to plant another group of them in our garden when we get home. That's good. For those of you who don't know, those are used in potions, in a stamina potion. That's why we want them. Oh, I want carrot seeds. I know we, I saw a couple of those earlier. Oh, that's a log troll. I don't want to mess with a log troll. He's way more dangerous than the... than the rock trolls are. I'd do it if I... you know, had good buffs and stuff, but we don't, so... we better just leave him alone. Okay, so that is another island off that direction and we're getting back into meadows and a possible chance to find a bee a queen bee where's the traitor okay traitors that way gotcha all right we've got to make room for uh, leather scraps. So what could we get rid of? How heavy is this? Eh, I don't want to throw that out though, because that's upgraded to level 3. Uh, we can definitely throw out the amber. And, you know, honestly, deer hide's easier to come by than boar hide is in this game, so I think I'm going to chuck those two pieces of deer hide. Let's get this other boar here. Or actually, there's two more boars. I think that, that was a one star. All right, let's get rid of the boar meat. Because I'd rather have the boar hide. Wasn't there another boar that just walked up this way? Yeah, there he is. We have a building down here. Let's go see if it's got a beehive. Oh, it does! <laughs> Look at that! We found our beehive, ladies and gentlemen. We just got to make room for it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we should be able to pick up the queen bee. I, I don't. I can't imagine it would weigh that much. Fantastic. So we're just going to wait, wait for the bees to buzz off. <laughs> See what I did there? Buzz off. All right, kill me. And there she is. 
Now we can make some of the meads and some more food and most importantly, the beehive. So we accomplished our mission. We went the long way around to do it, but we got it done and that's all that matters. Yay us. Okay, so um, I'm going to... Oh, there's another house. Possible chance for another queen. Uh, I'm going to just keep... I don't know what the hell that means. I don't even know what that means. I think I'm going to keep going along the coastline at least for a little while, but if it doesn't show any signs of curving back around, um, I'll probably turn back because we are quite a long ways from home and I almost have no room left. So, yeah. Um... No beehive here. So yeah, let's just keep going for a little little bit longer before we decide to turn around. And I want to keep collecting boar hide too. Uh, yeah, we just got it. Okay. Don't care so much about the meat, but the hide we definitely want. All right, guys. This uh, coastline shows no sign whatsoever of <laughs> wrapping around anytime soon. Um, I suspect whatever this is, I don't even know what that is. I don't recognize it. it must be something new since um, Miss Lens, I guess, came out. Uh, is still along the coastline, uh, which is even that much further. So we're going to head back and I'm going to cut across country. Uh, but I am going to stop by the trader along the way. So I can sell some of these the stuff that I have and then um, see if we can hit the coast and then come back along through here so let's see let's make sure we're pointing more or less in the right direction and start heading this way if this is gonna get all the way up into the mountains though that's kind of dangerous nope that's just a really high hill Okay. Oh, this is a village. I hear some bees somewhere. Oh man, nice. Oh, this is a Draugr village. Yeah, look at him in there. Okay, I don't think we want to mess with them right now. Oh, that's, that scared me. Yikes! Run away! Those guys could be hard to kill at our current uh, level. Um, let's, let's see if we can actually maybe kill this archer. I don't want to tangle with his other buddies, though. Yeah, pull him away from there. We got him. All right, the entrails from these guys, we can make into sausage. As gross as that sounds, it's damn good food. <laughs> right, there's another archer. And is who's hitting that fence? Is he sh shooting at us and it's just not showing up? Or what's the deal? That hurt, even, even with us blocking it. Yeah, because these guys are pretty high level for us at the moment. Oh! Where did that even come from? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. We're 10,000 miles away, too. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> We're going to have a long run ahead of us. Oh, for Pete's sake. 
Unbelievable. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, let's do this. Um, let's mark this as... Uh, let's see. Drog her, I think. That's how you spell that? I don't know. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> Sucks. Uh, let's... Let's at least put this stuff on. And, um... It's just gonna... I don't want to take a lot of stuff with us, because we're not gonna be able to bring it all back, is the problem. And we'll just pick some raspberries along the way for that. Um, here we go. Yeah, actually, here, let's put that on instead. And we'll grab our shit bow and our spear and our shit uh, shield. Okay. Damn it, that sucked. Let's get a full rest and bonus. And run back. <laughs> Jeez. I don't even know where that arrow came from that killed us. But hopefully the... Hopefully the monster that did shoot us has cleared out. God, that's a long ways. Oh man, this is going to take forever. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, let's take those two things and then we'll find some raspberries for our third food. Well, I guess we're going to map out the northern end of our island on the way up there. That way it's not a complete waste of time. Oh, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to make arrows for our bow. So yeah, that's pretty damn useless. I'm not going back now. Oh! Found another beehive! Um, let's just mark it, and I'll come back and get it later. Alright. Cool. So that means we can now make two hives. Um, I'm not gonna pick any mushrooms. I want, uh, I would like a couple of raspberries, though. We can come across them. We're probably going to have to make a chest. And, um... Leave some of this stuff there, because I'm not going to be able to carry it all back. Yeah, Draugr Village, even though it's in the Meadows biome... Uh, that's some... Those are some pretty dangerous enemies. For us to be taken on right now, anyway, they are. I'll grab a few more raspberries so we have them. Okay, we gotta get across this river. Alright, let's just see if we can cross right here. I'm starting to think maybe I should stay on this side of the river. All right, well let's just let's just run up this way and see what happens. Okay, well we're getting close to the trader, and it looks like the river keeps going mostly to the north. So I think we we're gonna cross here. I think John said. Uh, our server owner, that he has a a portal at the trader too, so that might might take advantage of that just so we don't have such a long run back. No bees in here. Um, I will take those. 
guess we could take those, but I'm certainly not going to take the flint. Alright, so we just need to keep going this way. Of course, you know, getting to the trader is only about halfway as far as we actually have to go. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, uh, why does there have to be a troll right there? When I have no ranged... Ability. Uh, there's also a spawner. All right, we want to skirt around that too. What the hell was that? Doesn't the trader have a? Oh, it's a troll. Is he chasing us or is he just walking around? I think he's just walking around. What the fuck is that troll doing right at the trader? Seriously? Game, you hate me. Doesn't the trader have a like a force field though? Okay, we're just gonna be sneaky sneak here. Okay, run. <laughs> we got a shaman chasing us. Yeah, he does have that force field. Okay, good. Whew. Hey there. Haldor, what's up, buddy? Does he look different than he used to? <laughs> All right. So, we want to get the circlet and the belt from him and the fishing rod. But, of course, we can't afford any of that stuff right now. Um, and we have nothing to sell him at the moment. Fun. Okay, cool. Um, let's look at a map. So we still got to get all the way up there. Oh my god. Um, one thing I was thinking of maybe doing is... Spending the night here. I'd just cut the camera. And hang out. I don't really go in for the fence stuff. That's my sister's area of expertise. Do we get a rested bonus? Oh, we do. Okay. Comfort one. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the camera. And I'm just going to spend the night here. Uh, because, you know, our nights don't last too long. And then we'll set out in the morning because I just don't, I'm not equipped for wandering around in the Black Forest at night. And I don't know how much Black Forest is between me and here. Um, or I guess the other option is to just run like hell and see if we can get through. But. I mean, there could be a mountain here, too, you know? I don't know. That's still a long ways to go. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera here, bring you back in the morning, and then we'll set out and see if we can go recover our stuff.